Good morning, guys. I am in the Tetons National Park. And the sun is just coming up behind me. But I am not shooting in that direction. What I'm doing is shooting at the, uh, the Teton Range. So let me show you quickly. So this is what I'm shooting at. And uh, yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. So I'm shooting this way, this is a Teton range. We have the moon up there. The sun's coming up back there. And he's starting to get a little bit of the glow of the nice hues and colors. And actually, I wanna take a quick shot. So we got the road as a leading line here, kind of a leading line. Um, we have this tree. You know what, let me show you on the back of the camera because that's gonna be easier for me to explain. So we have the road this way on the left side. We have the tree here, and then we have the T Grand Teton Mountain, which I think sits at 13,770 feet at its peak. You got the mountain here, and I'm kind of using this tree right here to balance the photograph a little bit. It's pretty much the scene, and I'm just kind of patiently waiting for the sun to come up. Oh, and I'm shooting with my 70 to 300 because I want to compress the scene a little bit and bring those mountains kind of into the photo a little bit. I mean. If you shoot this with a wide angle lens, the mountains are so far back, you're gonna kind of lose them in the photograph. So yeah, you wanna use kind of a telephoto lens to, to bring everything a little closer together. So as I'm waiting for the sun to come up, I'm gonna go ahead and take a shot. And this is looking absolutely fantastic. Let me show you guys my settings. We'll go ahead and take a quick photo before the sun comes up. Okay, so here's where I'm at. I am shooting at 1 4th. I'm at F14 because I want to try and get everything in focus and I'm using a telephoto lens. I am at ISO 100. What I'm doing is I'm putting the peak on one of these points, I'm putting the tree on another, and I'm just kind of focusing back there. And I have, I believe, a two second delay on. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this. I wanna, it's getting brighter out, so I'm gonna darken this down a little. Let's go ahead and take this and see how it comes out. So we have the sun just coming up behind me and it's getting that glow right on the top of the Teton Mountain. I just quickened my shutter speed a little bit to get more of the color because it's starting to get brighter out obviously as the sun comes up. Take this one. It's beautiful. One thing would make this a little bit better in that, that there was a bunch of clouds in the sky. But you can't always get what you want. One thing I've been doing is using my 70 to 300 a lot more than I usually do. And, uh, you know, that's one thing that, just because we're doing landscapes and nature, and a lot of people get stuck on using like a wide angle lens all the time. And wide angle lens is great, and I'll put the wide angle shot up again. Um, but sometimes you want something that's like a little bit more intimate. Something like a telephoto lens where you can zoom in, compress the scene, the tree with the mountain. You know, it just kind of gives for a little bit more intimate feel in the photo. And I know sometimes brings the viewer in, especially when you're further away from your subject, which here obviously is the mountains, and I'm using the tree and the road as uh, complementing, you know, uh, pieces in the photo. So I think the good stuff is over with. That is it, that is a vlog. This is probably a short one, mine are always short. I'm gonna try and make them longer, but I will leave you with the final photo. So thanks for watching, and hopefully I will see you guys in the next video. All right, take care.